Okay, so what I did was I did some meditation. My stomach is about to earl. Uh, so like so, so probably before the video is over, probably potentially. So I was on the phone with Cortland. He heard the argument between Jill, and he might have heard with the PCA. But I refused to take the temperature because Jill was making me uh, un uncomfortable with her giving me the medication because she initiated an argument, a white woman. So I said, no, I'm not gonna take it. So what I did was I changed my mind afterwards and said, can someone else give me the medication? Right, but I have to explain this video. As soon as I start to fall asleep, the object is to wake me up to get that re reaction from the stomach to cough up blood because I'm relaxed to keep waking me up at times. Like I'm like, yo, but after I put in that request, I get comfortable and start to fall into a sleep. You understand? Now they just respond just now. You can follow the timestamp. It says a Hindu kid named Andrew. He comes in here and says, give me a vital. I said, I gave it to you already. Can you please give somebody, find somebody else to give me the meds. He plays his argument because I ain't got nobody on the phone right now where he can do it, she can do it. He get me riled up and get my blood pressure up. Then he said, the other PCA that my friend Colton heard her uh, take everything that's at my temperature that she didn't do her job. He was to argue about that, building me up to get the blood stirring in my stomach to get that reaction. You get it? And he's acting stupid. He's the one that did that thing with Matthew that time, who was the first time we had this problem, when I had the right to say no to a blood test, it was a result of him calling security for the first time. I said, what are you doing that for? You understand? Since then, Matthew has changed his story, whatever the case is. You understand? So, He's back now, Andrew, and what he did was he kept arguing with me, building me up for a how all shot because I didn't let it go that far, right? Jill comes in and takes over. After I said, I want to take the meds, but not from her. She said, get, all right, let me take over, and they both walk out. We had, they built me up, woke up out of my sleep, and not met my request which I had to ask the other PCA who came to the door with the shower cap, said, can you please find somebody else to give me medication? It's a simple request. We don't get along, Jill and I, and I have a right to request somebody else if I don't feel comfortable. You understand it? So I'm trying to recover and force a transaction without you get it. That's how they keep me abused and what's going on.